It's the Tailgate Talent Show Clip Show, a very special episode of the show where we finally let you behind the scenes of the show to see all of the show footage that didn't make it in the show. I have a sip of water and that'll just, there you go. I'm giving you everything that they didn't think you deserved because by God, you do deserve it. Who's they? Stick around to find out. This is Root Beer. And this is Kyle Bergstresser, host of the Tailgate Talent Show. Joining you here in the beating heart of the Tailgate Talent Show, our studios, AKA the Devil's Lair, AKA my boss's garage, to be honest, AKA the lab, sometimes we call it the lab, AKA the magician's quarters, where me and my team of loyal servants, huh? Could you brighten that up a little bit? like emotionally brighten it up. Me and my team of loyal servants work our magic, and then something, hey, no headphones? Something, uh, make it look like I'm doing like magic. He'll do it, this guy'll do it, he's great. We work our magic to squeeze out season after season of piping pot content for you, the people. But here's the thing, no matter how hard we work, which is very, you're working a little bit too hard, huh? You want a little bit of water? You seem like you're working too hard. Have a sip of water and that'll just, there you go. Uh, some of this stuff just doesn't make it to air, no matter how hard we work. Mm, whose fault is that? I don't know. Sometimes I'll go out and I'll put out some absolute gold. I'm doing the work. And then it gets back here and I don't know what happens to it, but all of a sudden, all that gold I made, it's covered in crud, whatever they do to it. Oof. How you doing? Less mistakes today, got it? And you know what? Yeah, sometimes that means we can't use that clip. Sometimes we really do just run out of time. And it's like, what are you gonna do? Well, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna make time. And we've made enough time for a full episode of clips that didn't make it in before. We put in the hard work to bring that to you, the people. Pretty cool, pretty brave of us. Could we do something really make me look heroic? Put like the tailgate logo or like, Canadian flag or something, the low? No, the Canadian flag, I wanna be like hero of the country. That's fun. We put in that work and I hope, oh, I hope that that's enough for you people. I hope you're finally satiated. Cause I'll tell you what, over here, we are exhausted. You should get some rest. Bags under your eyes, you <laughs> look terrible. But for now, we gotta get this started with, unfortunately, one of many performers that had to be cut for time. It's a shame. Trust is a word that I love to hate. Praying is nice, I can explain. Train cuts through me like a razor blade. Players, they have inflicted us pain. I've never been untrusting to you. And I can't understand why you do the things you do. I'll always keep my head up high with an open mind. My ways always makes me stronger all the time. Thank you. Cool, and everybody, great work, man. Here, I'll get you this. 
grab that from you while you get comfy. Thank you, thank you. How did that feel? Felt great, man. Felt great. It's been yeah? a while since I played guitar. Yeah, yeah. So you're a drummer by trade, right? Yes, I am. I'm a drummer. Yeah. So what what made you want to transition into trying some singing songwriting? Uh, my wife and drumming. Well, I've been upstage up front as a front man 25 years ago, and I decided to get back at it. My wife bought me a new guitar, and now she begs me to do it, so I'm doing it. Wow. Okay. So you wouldn't have done it on your own. This is this is order. It's coming straight from the top. From the top. Beyond <laughs> me. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Well, let's see what the uh, judges thought about it. Steph. Well, I'm, I'm going to ask your wife to ask my wife to buy me a new guitar. Also. <laughs> um, man. Oh man. You lucky guy, man. If I buy another guitar, I'm going to lose my wife. I think. <laughs> God. I like the passion in it. The, 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 my only issue again, I know I'm, I'm a stickler for pronunciation. I yeah. know I'm a stickler. I love that first line. Trust is a word I love to hate. What happens when you're, you're going to the all that stuff is unfortunately we lose the pronunciation. Yes, it, yes. There's this, I know you're going for this kind of feel, this kind of, 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 of effect. Unfortunately, if I have to start stringing and going, oh, I don't, I get what you're trying to do, but I don't understand what he's saying, I'm like, ugh. So just. Just watch it. I have no issues with nasal singing at all, mm. um, as long as we don't lose uh, the words. You know, yes, you know I, what I, mean? I understand Shock? totally. Yeah. Hey, Shock, yeah, anything to add to that? You must be a Guns N' Roses fan, eh? Yeah, I sang what? a lot what of Guns N' Roses. What makes you say Roses that? 20, you got an, like an actual ago. rose feel going there. Yeah, yeah. And I encourage you to continue exploring that. You know, but like Steph, also the, the words are important because we want to know more about you and what you're saying. And we got most of it, but just a bit more in the pronunciation. But I like that vibe, that the way you're, you're going yeah, with yeah, that, that feel and that, that voice. Yeah. I think it's uh, something that suits you well. Hey, and maybe a little mystery never hurt, you know? Maybe you want people to have to look up what you're saying, right? Yeah, ask me what I'm saying. Ask me what I'm saying. Yeah, there you go. That gets the conversation started. All right, Philip Poulin, everybody. Put your hands together. Woo! Thank you. How you guys doing? Can, can we ask you one quick question? We're just wondering, is there any hidden talents that you can think of that you would have like to share? No. Nothing. No, Nothing? You. Okay, have a good one. He's hoverboarding away. We lost him. Not everybody's going to want to do this, and that's okay. Uh, sometimes people's talents are getting out of situations they don't want to be a part of, and I respect that. I play music. Ooh, you play music. Okay. Can I say I kind of could tell with the hair? Can you do some like weird, like... Some people can do some weird stuff with like their fingers. Do you have one of those flexible thumbs that goes all the way back? <laughs> That's the only one I know. I, That's the thing you do right before you start break dancing. See your snap kick. <laughs> That's killer. Do you play guitar? Do you play? Well, what like, I'm, a, I'm a multi instrumentalist. Every instrument in every genre. Not every instrument, but mm, you know. You kind of made it sound that way. Uh, do you play music? I, you just came out of the music shop. Music. Okay. What kind of music do you play? All the musics, you name it. That's what the last guy said. We got piano, yep. guitar. Henry, we're looking for people that have uh, hidden talents. Do you have anything that you can think of offhand? Uh, Are you going for like an I play music vibe with the hair? No, I just like have a weird shaped head. <laughs> okay. Hey, that's a talent. Yeah, uh, a weird shaped head. You could uh, put on hats that other people maybe couldn't put on. I'd be down for that. Upright bass. Well, they say there ain't no folk like Norfolk. Well, I'm kind of stoked because I'm starting to think that's so. Accordion. Mm -hmm. Harmonica. Starting right here in Simcoe, going to move across Ooh. Ontario. Drums. Do you play any music? Hot cross buns, hot cross buns. One a penny to a penny, hot cross bun. Whoa, that's beautiful. That's great. Mandolin. And where the rivers don't flow, we're going to roll. Uh, ukulele. That's all I got. That's a lot. Every time I bring out the accordion, people love it. I don't know. All right, well, I'll just cut right to the chase. If cut you want chase. your past replaced and your sins erased, well, put a smile on your face because you'll find it all in Jesus' grace. Boom! <laughs> Do you have any talents that you think people might need to know about? No? Don't sell yourself short, I bet you do. Okay. How are you guys doing today? Superstar Kyle Bergstresser, a superstar. <laughs> Just laying a little VO there, some behind the scenes for you. Wow, those clips, huh? I can't believe those people got cut. Some of that content, that was gold. 
Do you guys feel good about what you do? That makes me feel sick to my stomach, but I guess they just like it for some reason. Well, I personally would like to apologize for them to you because you guys don't deserve that. And you know what? I'd like to also apologize to this next performer who did not deserve to be cut, but these sickos did it anyway. Ugh. When we come back, we're going to see even more performances and, of course, even more of me. But this time, I'm underground? Are you still alive? We got to dig her out. Stick around to find out what I mean, sweetheart. Norfolk County, Ontario's Garden, is a proud sponsor of Eastlink Community TV. Talented people grow here. Welcome back ah, to the Tailgate Talent Show. Hey, put a little hat on that guy. That's funny. That's funny. You're no fun. You know, while these people have been working hard to take all the best stuff out of the show, I've been working much, much harder to force them to put it back in. And I'll tell you what, as far as the best stuff goes, oh, we got it for you right here. It's me, superstar Kyle Bergstresser, who's also funny and quite strong, strongest guy here, going to Sudbury to learn about their key industry. And I'll tell you what, getting this one done was no minor feat. <laughs> because So it's a mining, We yeah, we did a mining thing. You'll see. Hey Jennifer. 
Hey Kyle, how's it going? Good, it's good to meet you. So I'm gonna need a little bit of a rundown of this whole place. Basically just because, um, I don't know how long this show's gonna last. Every time we get a new season, it blows my mind. It's got it. this cash cow's ending soon. And <laughs> I think I need a backup plan. Okay. And I'm wondering if, I don't know, I guess you'll be the judge, but do you think that I have any chance at, at mining being my backup plan? You may very well find something within the mining sector that may interest you. So why okay. don't we look at some of the different aspects that yeah. goes into the mining sector and earth sciences, Yep. and there might be something of interest. Sure. Anything that requires a lot of muscle and brawn, I think, is what I'm probably angling towards. But we'll see. We'll, we'll see. Let, why don't we have a look? OK. All right. Come Let's on do in. That. Cool. OK, what are we looking at here? What's some of this? So one of the different options that you can look at uh -huh. is earth science and learning to identify rocks and minerals, which leads to identifying the different ore bodies that you might be chasing when you're in the mining sector. So you use your ore body and your ore brain <laughs> to identify that. Because I imagine it takes a while, but after a few months of mining, I might have an ore body of my own. <laughs> Where would I have to dig to find this? Where does that show up in the ground? Well, Are there toothpaste mines around here? Do they, it comes pre-tubed, hey? Let's so see. in toothpaste, you have a mineral that's called fluorite. That looks expensive. So you're brushing your teeth with this. I am? You are. Okay, that looks like it would hurt. <laughs> I need money quick. We need, I mean, I gotta get a nest egg set up in case this all falls apart. Which, what's that get me? I bring that into the old <laughs> shop. What are they giving me for that, the old pawn shop? Well, they, they might not give you very much because you also uh. have to mill and then you have to smelt it and then you have to refine it to be able to extract the valuable metals out of this. I'm starting to think that this part of it might not be the cash cow <laughs> I need. I think I need to find another, another angle. Is there something else you could show me, like a career option? Absolutely. Okay. Let's go and discover another area of Please, this. okay, because I, I need this, I need this. <laughs> okay, what's this big, huge guy here? So this is our Sudbury ore. This is what we're mining here in Sudbury. Okay. So, see the yellow color? Gold, right? Calcopyrite, and this is where so we're getting close. a lot of the copper from. And then the silver color, yeah. pentlandite, that's where we're getting a lot of the nickel from. Okay. So in this big chunk of ore, yeah. we've got 4% nickel, 3% yeah. copper, yeah. and then a whole bunch of trace metals like cobalt and the platinum group metals. So okay, it's a and, but awesome if you piece. take all of this out, and you take the carbohydrates and you take everything, <laughs> I could make, I'm seeing this here, 33,000 toonies. So this is just a money making machine. Yeah. I could just turn this into as many toonies as it, that's a retirement amount of toonies. It's quite heavy to move though. So good luck with that one. Yeah, well, we got trucks on the show. I should be able to make that work. <laughs> so this is looking better to me. What is this here? Well, this might be a little bit easier for you today. So this is our gold panning table. Okay. So we have a quota finding two gold pieces today. So you ready? I'm on, I'm on the clock and I have a quota, you're saying? You have a quota today. Okay, so okay. I'm just, what, digging in here? So you want to ensure that you're going all the way and scraping against the bottom uh -huh, uh -huh. of the table. Because gold is really heavy, right? Yeah, so it'll so sink it's to not the bottom. Gonna be on top. So when you have your bowl now, you're going to keep your bowl in the water. Oh, I see. See the ridges? You want your sand to go over those yes, ridges. like so an you can... old prospector. Exactly. I've seen this. Ooh, there might be some gold in here. <laughs> This will change everything. So when you start uh, basically having about a tablespoon left of sand, uh -huh. that's when you want to start looking to see if you have any gold pieces in your bowl. Uh, about like ah, this? Ah, there we go. Did you get some? Yeah, I have two right over she here. Got some. One, and two. You can just take that? That's just yours now? And that's going to be yours, yeah. Oh, okay, so we're already making some money today. I don't even need to film this show anymore. These little flakes that we have here. Yeah, what am I getting for that wholesale? Uh, uh, about 10 cents each. Ooh, okay. <laughs> That's way below minimum wage. How do you guys get away with it? What a racket. <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay, so this looks like this is where some like mining mining happens. Well, this is where it starts. Okay. So how about we get you all dressed up and geared up to go underground? Yeah, because we're going to get like friggin' down and dirty and do some mining and okay. Well, yeah, we'll okay. see what we can do here. Yes, we will. We'll see what I can do. You ready to go? 
Let's mm -hmm. head yeah. down underground. Yeah, let's do work. So if you look all the way down, that's where we're heading. Who are we? <laughs> oh, okay. We are underground. We are okay. heading underground now. This is what I wanted. This is what you, how are you doing? This you is what doing? I wanted. I feel, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> so let's head on in. We've left the building. We are fully surrounded by rock now. And that's fine. And I feel fine about that. <laughs> Now, I'm pretty sure this is the tools that you've been looking forward to see. So we got the pickaxe <sighs> and the shovel. Yes, and then hypothetically, I'm going like, ha, ha, and you've, just absolutely shattering this whole thing up, taking out huge chunks at a time. It all looks like that, straight up gold. Then I take it down to the pawn shop and make my millions. Well, even I like that. before you get the pickaxe, because the pickaxe is going to help you break the bigger chunk of rocks sure. after you blast. Of course it is, yeah. Okay, so Obviously. here's your tools to drill your hole so that we can blast. And okay. <laughs> and okay. So you're going to see this hole here? Yeah. Okay, basically you're using the chisel. So if you put your chisel here, you just, and then you're going to pretend as if you're hitting that, and that's exactly <laughs> what you are doing to drill your holes. This is back in the 1800s. Yeah, I don't want to hit it full out because I'm worried I'll take the whole thing <laughs> down. I don't want to collapse the tunnel, so I'll pull back. So we're about to get into the 1950s mine. So okay. technology changes. You can see it's already getting a little bit bigger. Yeah, we're traveling forward in time. We, just, we just jumped forward, what, 70 years? 50 years? Oh, at least 70 years. Okay. Elvis hasn't arrived yet, but he's coming <laughs> soon. Okay, so I'm a 1950s mine worker. Yep. And he's like, come on, fellas, let's get this thing loaded up. Okay, so here's a dynamite stick. I want you to put it in right over here. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay. Now you're gonna take the loading stick. Yeah. And you're gonna push it all the way back. And I actually do it? Yep, you actually do so it. I push it all the way in. And then after we all go for malts. Now you're gonna take the clay, you're gonna seal that hole. We wanna break the rock. We do not wanna break the rock across from us. Okay. Okay, okay. She's so plugged, fellas. We're all ready? Yes. Okay, now I'm gonna stay back and light the fuse. Uh-huh. Okay, and you're going to be my guards. Mm -hmm, you're going to mm -hmm. stand here, you're looking both directions, you're making sure that nobody is coming into this area while I light that fuse. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Stay back! Okay, is it all clear? Tara, hey, get out of here! I don't care that you're doing sound for the show. No, we're moving her closer to the blast. Get closer to the blast. This is your punishment. You should have never been there. That's what they did in the 50s. You get too close to the explosion, they move you closer. Like if you get caught smoking, you gotta smoke a whole pack. Okay, blow her up. Stay back! Tara, did you learn? Oh, did you learn your lesson? Did you learn your lesson? Are you still alive? We gotta dig her out. Oh, okay. <laughs> it actually did, did it scare you? Oh wow. It actually blew her hat off. That was real. So what are your thoughts so far about mining in the 1800s and 1950s? Well, I mean, you know, I like that back then they would really use all of my physicality and I could really <laughs> But I guess so now we're moving somewhere where it's a little bit more about the brains, hey? Absolutely. Okay, I just felt it. What year are we in now? So we're now into the modern mining. The equipment underground is even bigger and we're able to extract more at a time. But the really cool part about modern mining really comes down to the technology that we're able to use. So a lot of the tech can be automated yeah. or remote, remote mining. Jennifer, the surface, are you ready to operate the rock breaker? So now am I able to give that a try? I just want to see if I'm cut out for it to maybe be the radio guy. This is more, it's, you know, it's a little bit of my hosting <laughs> prowess, but I could be the walkie-talkie guy. Okay, so thank you for this. This was so fun. 
I learned a lot. It, it, it does not run the way I thought it did. This is very different than I thought. Well, I'm happy to have toured you around our mine today. And if I could have just given you a little glimpse into the mining industry, it's been my pleasure. So if you have any questions, Absolutely. you can always call me. I might come to you for a reference. Sounds great. Wow, that was a heck of a clip. You know, they practically begged me to stay and work for them in that mine, but I wouldn't do it. Too committed to this show. But I did learn a lot, and I kind of saved some lives down in that mine. Pretty special. Pretty special what I did, okay? Well, I'll tell you what else is pretty special. This next performance. Let's take a look. Le Corbeau et le Renard par Jean de La Fontaine. Maître Corbeau, sur un arbre perché, tenait en son bec un fromage. Maître Renard, par l'odeur alléchée, lui tint à peu près ce langage. Hé, hey, bonjour, monsieur du corbeau. Que vous êtes joli, que vous me semblez beau. Sans mentir, si votre ramage se rapporte à votre plumage, vous êtes le pénix des hôtes de ces bois. À ces mots, le corbeau ne se sent pas de joie, et pour lui montrer sa belle voix, il ouvra un large bec et laissa tomber sa proie. Le renard s'en saisit et dit, « Monsieur Corbeau, apprenez que, que tout flatteur est au dépens de celui qui l'écoute. Cette leçon vaut bien le seul fromage, sans doute. » Le corbeau, honteux et confus, jura, mais un peu tard, qu'on ne lui prendra plus. Oh. Oh. Cameron, Nitesa, everybody. Wow. Um, I didn't understand a word of that. But uh, they, say, they seemed encapsulated. You, got the, you, you encapsulated the audience. When I talked to you uh, beforehand, I asked if you were nervous, and you gave me a hard no. And then I asked if you'd performed before, <laughs> and you said yes, and I won. <laughs> <laughs> so Cameron's coming in here with some confidence, I think. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Confirmed. Uh, let's see if uh, that came through to you guys. What do you think? Again, uh, yeah, French. I got, yes. I got that much. Uh -huh. um, but it didn't really. I mean, it matters the language, but your facial expressions and your body language almost told the story. I mean, I understood the word cheese and, <laughs> and good and Mister, but other than that, but I think you're you're just adorable, and I, I enjoyed that, even though I didn't understand it. Thank you, Lucas. Yeah, Cameron, that was awesome. I can't speak French to no. save my life, but uh, it goes to show how great you are as a storyteller yeah. by just the way you changed your tone or yep. your facial expression. Uh, and just the voice itself, you could tell that there was a, a couple characters in there mm -hmm. uh, just by the way you presented it. So uh, great work. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, you really told the story. I, uh, I don't know a word of French either. I was following it, and I imagine we'll get some subtitles for it. So for the TV <laughs> audience, that'll be just fine. <laughs> okay, great job, Cameron. Cameron, everybody, put your hands together. That's not what I would have done, but you keep it up, huh? Wow, what a great performance. I can't believe these jerks had to cut that. They must just like being mean. That's what I think. Well, I'll tell you what, stick around because we got a ton more hilarious footage coming up as well as another great performance and some bloopers. We talked about the bloopers, guys. We're not doing the bloopers. We won't have some bloopers. We're not doing the bloopers. Norfolk County, Ontario's Garden, is a proud sponsor of Eastlink Community TV. Talented people grow here. Kyle's so weird. He keeps putting his hands on me. Yeah, my shirt's so wet. <sighs> <sighs> guys, you gotta tell me when we're gonna start. I was out there for like 10 minutes. What do you. Hey, welcome back, guys. Uh, it's been a great show so far. We've got some more great stuff coming up. Uh, another beautiful performance, and then obviously no bloopers, because why would you want to see that? Just me making mistakes, me looking like a fool. Well, these guys would love that. Seems like the kind of thing they would do, but uh, not today. Let's just show you what you want to see. Another gorgeous performance. Late nights, four wheel drives, a hidden mode on Saturday night. These are just some things we do. Some people might disagree, but they haven't hung out with me. So come on, I'll show you how it's done. Cause I was born in this small town. It's just north of 17's where I'm found. And if you wanna come party with me, we 
will show you how to live true, no strong and free. From bad flies to piss of wives, cause we drank too much. But it's Friday night, we're feeling alive. Gonna keep this going till the sun comes up. Whiskey shots and hit the spot, a whole lot of laughs. There's nowhere I'd rather be at, cause I was born in this small town. It's just north of 17, where I'm found. And if you wanna come party with me, I'll show you how to live true, no strong and free. When winter hits, we don't quit. We know how to get it done. We'll drill some holes, wet some lines, it's gonna be a day of fun. There's nothing like ripping lips through a 10 inch hole. No matter even if it gets cold. Cause I was born in this small town. Just north of 17's where I'm found And if you wanna come party with me We'll show you how to live true, no strong and free Oh, we'll show you how to live true, no strong and free Chris Dorgan, everybody, wow! de la nerveux tight. Okay. Wow. So for anybody that doesn't know, that was your first time singing into a microphone, yeah. right? And in front of people. Second time ever on stage. Yeah. How long have you been playing music, though, in any capacity? Uh, since I was 12. Okay, so it's always been something you wanted to do. What made you finally get out there? Uh, I thought I'd come out and try to get my confidence up and see what I can do. Wow, usually it's, I know I, I was I, nervous I can hear my vocals, so. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't, it really seriously didn't come off. It really didn't. And I like that you're sort of doing it backwards. You're like, I'll get on stage and then I'll get confident. Not I'm gonna get confident and then get on stage. I try, it took me 14 years to sing in front of my wife and I just wow. started doing it maybe six months ago and writing music six months ago, so. It's never too late. And just dive in. I think that's the lesson to take from this. Let's yeah. see what the judges think. Yeah, I'll man. You, Jacques. Yeah, yeah, look. He said Jacques. I did say Jacques. Steph can't be stopped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what? Just get out of here. You've said enough today already. All right, Jock. Hot for sale. Take it over. <laughs> Go ahead. So, Chris, uh, I really like the the hook in the uh, the chorus. Your your lyrics, mm -hmm. uh, true north, strong and free. I love it. I love the the, the song itself, the, uh, the melody, your voice. You really had a good country voice, country style. Um, I think it should be like the song for Sudbury. Yeah. Should be on a website somewhere for Sudbury. Yeah. Well, I'll sing it in the shower and it'll come out better. So there you go. It's well, all gonna, <laughs> wow, that'll end up on a website. <laughs> wow, invite yeah. me to that concert. <laughs> We've got some representatives from Sudbury here, so if you want to pitch that song to them, I mean, you might get your first payday today. Yeah. Who knows? All right, have you cooled off? You took a little bit of a walk. I'm okay, you know. I can't look at Jock anymore, but I'm okay. That's okay. You know, I I love these surprises. Because for me, it's always been about performing, and 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 then after I, I started writing songs, but you, it's the it's the reverse. This, this guy writes songs but doesn't perform. That song is killer, man. Thanks. Yeah. I, I think you we need to you, you can recognize a great song no matter if the vocals were there or not. Yeah, the first half you were nervous as crap, dude. <laughs> man, you can hear. <laughs> yeah. But the after after the first. A chorus man we saw the confidence and boom it was yeah. like smooth sailing after that yeah. but you cannot deny how catchy that tune is <laughs> it's very modern country music yeah. right now yeah. that's a great tune it. whether you you sing it or not or somebody else ends up singing it, yeah you wrote a great tune man yeah. thanks I appreciate for sure it. yeah you really found something I think yeah. you found something you got to keep up yeah, yeah man, that's definitely. great all right Chris Doran everybody yeah, put man. your hands together I was telling them as far as the bloopers go, and you'll get it, it's, it's not about me, it's about them. The people have gotten used to such a standard from me that if they see me like making mistakes and looking stupid, it's gonna freak them out. They're gonna shatter their whole worldview. They think I walk on water, man. They think I'm Superman. So anyway, you get it. Okay, clear up, gotta do a thing. Well guys, we got even more absolute gold coming up. Some of that gold standard Kyle Bergstresser stuff you've come to know and love, stuff that was cut for no other reason than I can decipher. Uh, than pure bloodlust from these absolute monsters, these bullies over here in the edit bay. Let's take a look. You're gonna love it. Hey, Martha. Hi, Kyle. Good to meet you. Me um, too. Oh, wow, this looks really good. 
Uh, so I've heard a lot about this bakery. It's supposed to be the best one in town. Is that true? Of course it is. It's true. Um, <laughs> so what am I doing here today? Apparently I have an assignment. I do. I want to see if you have any talent as a cake decorator. We're going to decorate a unicorn cake. Can I spoil it for you? I'm good. Okay. Uh, I think you're going to be blown away. Okay. Oh, you're going to love it. I hope. Okay. Let's find <laughs> out. Let's find out. So are you sure you're ready? Yeah, I got the apron. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. All right. Uh, so, so this I is pre-cake. Yeah, we got it prepped and ready for you because we weren't quite sure about your prepping skills. Yeah, that's too bad because I could have done this. I, I actually was hoping I'd be able to do this part. I'm sure you could have done better. So I got the eyes right there. Sorry guys, sorry audience, you don't get to see that. We're going to put the horn right in the center there. Uh-huh. So we're going to add the ears. Do you want to grab the other ear? Don't break it. Okay. Don't break it. <laughs> So I'll start the front here, just be easier for you. I wouldn't you. start there, but that's your choice. Okay. So what so are we thinking see. here? Is this like a bit of a bang situation? Yeah, it's like a little it's, bit. So this is like an emo unicorn a little bit, maybe. Well, like a, a teen unicorn. Like a unicorn. attitude. Yeah. Let's show okay. me your skills. So are you ready? So this is a teen unicorn rebelling. Yeah. Uh, trying to think about my chemical romance. I'm gonna do a nice big one there. That's just a creative choice on my part. A unicorn has a cow lick, we could say, something like that. More like a, a unicorn lick, am I right? And then, what do you think about maybe a, a highlight, like a, something go, like a streak over the top? Like if we gave it, like if it, if it had like one of wow. these, Very like sort creative. of almost like a David Bowie lightning bolt thing, <laughs> like you could do along the front of the face. Um, <laughs> So how are we going to price this? What are you going to sell this for? Like 150, 200? What do you think this goes for now at this point? Well, now that it has your artistic spin on it, probably I'm thinking more like 350. Yeah, and you put underneath, uh, decorated by the host of the Tailgate Talent Show. You got I it. mean, once they see that, maybe on East Link TV, you could put that underneath. I mean, that's huge. That's big money. And I'll get a cut of that? Oh, of course. Okay, we'll work something out. E-transfer, yeah. whatever we got to do. Sounds good. <laughs> so... We've done this. Is this a pretty standard practice here? Do you do a lot of these uh, unicorn cakes? Do you? We're still, the trend is still very, uh, very much going. It's yeah. been going for a few years. We still do anywhere between, I would say, three to five unicorn cakes a week. Really? Uh, yeah, because, but the trends are constantly changing. Everything is changing, but it's still a very common, yes. um, common order. And so what else? You obviously, you do weddings, you do? So the main thing is definitely uh, our weddings. We do 12 weddings a weekend. Wow. And we do about 80 other events a week on top of that. So that's your bridal showers, your baby showers, um, birthdays, and so on. So we, we do so a few cakes. Yeah. yeah. That's great. And is there is there any kind of a, because you're Mennonite, correct? Correct. Mennonite okay. is my back. Yeah. Yes. And I'm Mennonite. I'm 50%. Ah. My mom's a do it. I want to kind of test your, to see if we're kind of in the same Mennonite area. Okay. I want to throw some questions at you. Uh, what's the best kind of bun? Like a bun? Yeah, bun. We have white buns and brown white buns, buns in the store. It's just your basic buns. Oh. Always raisin buns. Raisin buns. Raisin buns. See? We've got a weird Mennonite This is family. different. It's Manitoba Mennonites. Is that oh, maybe why? That's oh, why. they're different. What goes best with watermelon? But I'll kick it. Yeah, okay. So now we're on the same page. Now we're starting to hit the... What goes best with egg noodles? Noodles. Uh, do you Mm-hmm. What goes best with pierogies? Yeah, all right. What would you say is the, it's hard to narrow it down, the best thing you have here? That is so hard. Yeah, I would say hard. absolutely everything. Um, but you need to have a cake chuckle before you go. So definitely one of those. And do you like cake cinnamon chuckle? rolls? Do I like cinnamon rolls? Do, can you make them to go? Yes, Okay. definitely. Let's go grab some. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. So Kyle, I got mm -hmm. a few items for you to go. Woo. So wow. I included some of our cake truffles, which we're really known for, a okay. uh, different mix, our tarts, also our cornflakes and syrup cookies, um, yeah. cinnamon rolls, you can never go wrong with that, no, and our Mennonite cookies right here, it's like a Reese cookie, cream uh, cookie with peanut butter and chocolate. Yeah, so that one's really going to speak to me. Definitely. Yeah, so this is this is like your like all-star team, your like best of collection of... Of products, would you say? Well, I can't fit on an entire store in here, but this will do for now. <laughs> See, what a businesswoman. What a businesswoman. That's great. Okay, and I can take this with me. You can. This is the best make job. Make sure that you share. No. You, <laughs> you said nothing about that when we talked about this. This is for me. There you this go. This is for me. <laughs> this is for me.
So I'm here with Claire from Yoga Den, uh, and we're at the beach for some reason. So uh, yes, Yoga Den is my uh, yoga studio. We uh -huh. have yoga Pilates. We also do um, paddleboard yoga okay. on these paddleboards. The thing with me is I have never done any paddleboarding. And we just get on these things, we paddle out. So it's kind of like a canoe, but standing. Kind of. It's more the paddle stroke is more like a dragon boat. Yoga, I think, could be described as it's like standing up, but harder. And this is like dragon boating, but harder. And then you've combined them. It's going to be fun. Uh, rumor has it there's a storm coming. Yeah. And I got to say, I'm so excited to get out there and <laughs> fall off of these boards. You might think looking at this that these are surprisingly light, but uh, no. We're coming to the end of this bad boy, but stay tuned because our last feature is gonna make you forget that bloopers even exist, because nobody likes those things, right? Say it with me now, we hate bloopers. Okay, we'll be right back. Norfolk County, Ontario's Garden, is a proud sponsor of Eastlink Community TV. Talented people grow here. Gotta get out of here now. Hey, look, it's me. I'm back. We're back. It's the Tailgate Talent Show. And we got one last feature for you that's an absolute gem. Once again, cut by these editors who have hate deep, deep within their hearts. I'm looking at you, Zoe. Now, a lot of people have been saying that this feature got cut because all I do is I play around like a kid at Chuck E. Cheese and I'm not thinking about making good TV at all, but that's not true. As you'll soon see, it's actually because they're all jealous of me for being such a star and a great athlete. Let's check it out. Hey, Zoe, let me sit in your chair. Okay, please though, do let me sit in your chair because I'd never get to, it. Oh, oh my God. Water? You should never dump water on someone. Dean, I'm done. I'm done. So we're coming into season three of the Tailgate Talent Show, and I personally want to be better than ever as a host. So we're here at Spectrum Gymnastics, and you might think, well, what does that have to do with hosting? Everything. You train your body, that trains your mind. I need to be balanced. I need to be quick on my feet. And between you and me, I'm sort of hoping that maybe a couple acts drop out and then I can get on stage and maybe do some like cool rolls or like a cartwheel or something. And everyone's like, whoa, he's the host, but he's also amazing. And I'm hoping with like 45 minutes of training here, I could be the guy to do that. So I'm here with Tegan at Spectrum Gymnastics. Tegan, hi. Hi. Um, so this place is pretty amazing. What made you think about doing this? Why gymnastics? Why is that important to kind of teach, teach kids gymnastics? Yeah, so gymnastics has always been my passion. I started when I was three years old and I knew that Norfolk County was in need of an inclusive recreation space. Mm -hmm. um, so I work with a lot of individuals with special needs and gymnastics is an individual sport where they can succeed a lot. Yeah. Um, so it was really important to bring that to our small community so that kids of all abilities um, have somewhere to practice sport. That's great, that's awesome. From the outside, this looks like an abandoned factory at first, especially pulling in. I was like, well, we came to the wrong place. <laughs> um, and then you see the, you know, the beautiful mural outside, it's all colorful, and then you come inside and this is nuts. Like what? Not everybody would see that and think to turn it into this. Is this your first shot at this? How did this come about? It is, yeah. So it was really hard finding a space in Norfolk County. Yeah. Um, 
as a gymnastics gym, you need really high ceilings and lots of square footage, mm -hmm. and you're only going to find that in industrial spaces. Um, so I knew instantly that I had to find the industrial areas in Simcoe to be able to open this. And when I got the building, it was in really rough shape, um, very dirty and empty warehouse. Um, but this has been my dream my whole life. Yeah. I've been dreaming of what I want my gym to look like. So when I stepped into a gross warehouse, I instantly <laughs> knew what it was going to look like in the end. We just had to get there. That's, you got it, you got a vision. I gotta hand it to you. Okay, well, I'm kind of trying to get myself ready for season three of the show. I wanna be ready in case anything happens. I wanna be in tip top shape. You have a bunch of small little trainers here that are gonna do that for me? Oh yeah, they're gonna whip you into shape. They're gonna show you how to flip, jump on those bars. <laughs> okay, I think I got this then. I think I'm ready to go. All right, let's do it. Okay. I feel good. I feel like I look good. I feel ready. Vanessa, good to meet you. Um, you're going to show me some of your skills on this balance beam, hey? Okay. You're going to teach me a little bit about what to do. Are we doing this here? No, this is the warm up. We're actually going over there. We're going over there? Yeah. Ooh, okay. So there's a famous saying that hosting is the truest of balancing acts. Who said it? Me. And I'm famous. We're in season three, man. So to learn something about the inner balance I need to achieve, I first need to achieve outer balance. And my sensei today is gonna be Vanessa. So how did you get up there? What did you do? So first I just put my hands on the beam. Hands on the beam. Put one foot up. One foot up. Now push your hands up. And then you just put your hands up. Okay. Oh, okay, and then what? Put one foot up and straight. One foot up, what's that called? What is this called? Step kicks. We're doing step kicks here. Now this is, do you know what show tunes are? <laughs> Welcome home, soldiers. <sighs> I'm out of breath already, is that normal? <laughs> what, is, uh, what is the next move? What am I learning here? Cat leaps. Cat leaps, that's what they're called? Yeah. Okay, all right, show me them. Oh, that's not that much like a cat. Can we add some, some of this? No. A little bit of this? Can you meow? You have to stand up on two feet. Yeah, but it's a more accurate cat this way. I think the judges would appreciate the accuracy. And then if you're doing this beside me, I'm going, <laughs> right? Because we're cats that don't get along. You're the neighbor cat, and you come and steal my food sometimes. Now, once we make it to the end, is that it? Or as I noticed, there's like a, a mat here. You can either jump, but that's an easy way. Or you could do it on top. Put your oh. legs up and fall. Oh, because jumping's too easy. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, whoa, okay. Look who's a natural. Could be better. So I'm here at the uneven bars, which I think uh, mentality-wise, this is a lesson that things don't always work out evenly in a talent show. How can you navigate between the highs and lows when you're dealing with a show like the Tailgate Talent Show? And Izzy here, local expert, is going to show me how to do it. And I feel great about this. Can you show me a little bit of how this is supposed to look? Okay. Okay. Really, that's what you're supposed to do? Okay. And then, the dismount, and then don't you do this? Yes, okay, um, I think I could do that. Okay, you did it like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I don't wanna break it. Um, what if I do this? <laughs> and then, I simply, <laughs> We're here with uh, local trampoline expert, Cohen, but I actually might refer to him as fellow trampoline expert, Cohen. I got a little bit of a trampoline background myself. Imagine his is more of the Olympic caliber. I was more X Games, jumping off of a house, getting yelled at for jumping off of a house, doing it again, getting grounded, the whole thing. So I already know some moves. What I'm gonna do, I want you to take all this raw talent and I want you to help package it into like a sick as heck routine. Okay. Backflip. 
backflip. Front something, back spinny. Front spinny, backflip, front flip. Too many flips. Okay, okay. Backflip, okay. Okay, here's what we do. We jump the gap and I'm gonna high five you on the way through. Okay. Hand up. Okay, this is more my speed. Okay, that, that hurt a bit. So right now I feel prepared for season three of the Tailgate Talent Show in almost every way, but there's one inevitability that I have not prepared for. What if a group of talent show hating martial artists come and try to kick me in my butt and face until I'm literally dead? So I'm coming up here, we're going like this, and then I'm kicking like that, and I'm kicking like that. And Sawyer, are you stuck in the slack? Oh no, Sawyer came back up, because there's a guy down there. Hold on, I gotta go down there. Oh, the slide's clear, go down, go down. I just cleared it for you, two at a time. But now they're coming up this way. So here's my move. I get the guy like this, I make him think, oh no, what are you gonna do? Dodge, grab him by the shirt, throw him down the slide, then I kick him all the way down. This is important. Ooh, 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 ooh. Talent shows will never die. You can't stop us. We gotta run. Ah! Oh, they're dropping from the ceiling. They're rappelling down from the ceiling. You will never stop talent shows from existing. Oh, why do you hate talent so much? Okay, oh, I'm tired, guys. I'm tired, don't, just kidding, ooh, God, it's mental. You gotta get in their heads. And then, oh, big move. We got him. Is that all of them? Is that all of them? One more. Okay, I think we're safe. Whoa, listen. 20 more, 20 more rolling through the front door. We gotta go. Oh, okay, oh. We gotta go, and we gotta go slow-mo mode. Uh, oh, swipe the leg. Gymnastics will never go away. Grab him, throw him, forward punch. Kick up like that. Kick him over, elbow back out, and then into home base, safe, home base. And they have to respect that. You guys have to respect that. Home base means you can't touch us. We're safe. That's right, thank you to my sensei. Thank you to Spectrum Gymnastics. I feel safe that I'm covered for everything we could run into in season three of the Tailgate Talent Show. Uh, let's get out of here and go lay down for a couple of hours. Thank you. So, Well, guys, we did it. We made it through another episode and maybe more so than any other one, this one was perfect. Nothing that I could think to be added to it, especially not a blooper reel, which no one would like and nobody wants to see. That sounds stupid. Now, the only other thing we have to do is move on to our finale. That's gonna be next week. We'll see you guys there. Hey, great job, everybody. Great job, you guys. You really killed it. Uh, I do have a couple of notes, or a handful of notes. Uh, you know what, I have quite a few notes. Not a great job. Uh, where do you guys wanna start? What's first? I'm gonna start with you. Did I touch the mic? I felt it with my finger. You're right. <coughs> Local talent. God, don't drink feet. Stop. Walk, Ooh, man. yes, I'm a confident, grown man. I could own this truck. Yeah, don't look at the camera. So the concept of the show is simple. We're gonna roll into your town, flip down the tailgates, Set up the party, and then you're gonna get a chance to perform your talents for our cameras and our judges. Then, e <laughs> these are like newscaster fingers. Now just look at the track, just look at the track. For a chance at winning the grand prize. Baby, <laughs> baby, baby. Oh my god, she's so Right up my butt. Just go press the button, open door, and come back out. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. It's taken me down, I think. This is like my first time performing. I was I needed that little little anchor to kind of hold me, hold me still. 
so yeah. He was beside me. It was a coincidence. <laughs> Yeah. It's a tall order. Ah! <laughs> That's too much. <clears throat> <laughs>